Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about self-control and how you can apply self-control uh, in the real estate market. So there was a really famous study called the Dunedin study done in New Zealand in the 1970s where they took every child that was born in that year uh, from Dunedin and they met with that child once every year throughout their lifetimes or at least for multiple decades. It's one of the largest studies ever done of its kind. And one of the fascinating experiments they did with these children was called the marshmallow test. And that is where they put one marshmallow in front of the children in a room and they told the, the, the child that they would leave the room and the child would sit there with the marshmallow and if when the, the researcher came back, the marshmallow was still there, they would give the child another marshmallow. Now obviously there was a huge uh, drive for the child to eat the marshmallow. It's sitting right there and it's very tempting. Uh, but there was also a really big incentive or reward for that child to get if they were able to uh, distract themselves and, and, and have the self-control to wait for the, for, for to, to double the size of their uh, marshmallow take. Now, what was really fascinating is over the course of these children's lives, because some of them were, were really good at it and were able to wait and get the marshmallow, and some of them weren't. Some of them ate the marshmallow immediately. Now, later on in life, there was an enormous correlation in this study between the kids who were able to wait and have self-control and the positive outcomes in terms of financial, uh, in terms of education, and in terms of relationship outcomes. And if you think about it, it makes perfect sense. If you are able to think about the future and, and the incentives that are gonna come down the road and make sacrifices today, you are gonna have a much better chance of having great outcomes in the future. So, how does this relate to real estate? Well, one thing I think that is clear is that in the real estate market, there are, is a lot of opportunity. Over time, real estate tends to go up in value. It certainly has done over, over the last half a century. And you know, investing in real estate is a sacrifice. If you're to purchase a house or an investment now, you have to outlay money. You have to, and not just to buy the house, but to maintain it every single year. And you have to deal with tenants potentially, which you know obviously not everybody wants to, wants to do. So this sort of sacrifice now is really to get a, a big gain later on. And I think it's clear that people who have invested their money wisely in real estate over the, the last 20 or 30 years have had incredibly good financial outcomes. So I would encourage all viewers to think you know, about their financial situation and try and remember the marshmallow test. You know, If you can have a bit of sacrifice now for a really, really good future, that's something worth considering. I hope this is interesting. Thank you very much.